TBE trucking. What's happening, man? Um, I'm in uh, Gas City, Indiana. I think it's called. And a bunch of nothing going on here. But um, waiting on my clock to start so I can send in a running late. You know, pick this load up. I'm supposed to be in there um, 11 o'clock for a live pickup, but um, 11 11. But I had the Walmart drop last night in the middle of the night, which ended up messing my clock up. So I had to start my clock whenever. What I did was I put myself off duty while I was at the shipper, came over here on my own convenience. We got like three truck stops around here. Um, so, yeah, this is what the truck stops look like. That's it. This one here, one here where I'm actually parked at. You can see in the reflection in there is one across the street. And, um, yeah, I'm stuck here right now until my clock starts. I don't know exactly when it's going to start because uh, when you switch oh, up off duty, messaging. on duty. You are out of hours of service driving time. Yep. Ain't got nothing going on right now. So I wanted to talk about this game we got today. I wanted to talk about the game before the game, but I expect. And then I'm going to make a video after the game. But I expect us to win today. And I expect us to win today because we're playing at home to run the damn ball. We run the ball, we should be good. We run the ball, we should be all right. And um, Ingram... Do not turn the ball over. Running back Ingram, he cannot turn the ball over. That is the only thing that could kill us this game. So, um, yeah, so I was going to start doing reaction videos to these uh, football games. I got to wait till I get my laptop. I got them um, because right now I'm doing everything off this phone. You can only do so much off the phone. So that's why my video has been kind of shit, but it is what it is. I'm slowly, slowly growing. Yeah, I'm up to 663, 64 followers, something like that. Um, I appreciate it. And um, I got more content coming from after I get this laptop. I'll start doing reaction videos um, as far as music and uh, movies I've seen or um, what movies not to go see. Reaction videos or some speeches some people make. You know, I'm in political. I'm a little bit of political. Um, but mostly right now is football time. That's all I really care about. That's all it is right now. So whatever dumb stuff going on politically, I'm not really paying it any mind. I don't really care. It's Raven time until the Ravens are done. Then I'm done. Then we can start talking about other stuff. But college football was on yesterday, and um, Alabama got upset. I don't really call it an upset. They didn't have a starting quarterback, but they got so much talent. That you just see how much talent they got, dude. The quarterback they had in for the war wasn't even that good. He just threw lob balls up in the air, and the wide receivers were just catching them. Like it, it was ridiculous, man. I ain't never seen nothing like that. They just got so much talent. On it, keep saying Nick Saban's one of the best coaches. Nick Saban this. Nick Saban has. They've paid for the best players in the country to come to that school. That's right, I said it. They paid for the best players in the country to come to that school. That's why they're as good as they are. Not because of his coaching. And we all know when he left, went to NFL, he couldn't figure out his head from his ass. We know that. So let's not sit here and act like it's all about coaching in college. It's all about talent in college. You got to do the recruiting. You got to do see who has the best players. Then hone in the best players. You get what's called athletes. And you put them in position. Like, you don't come to Alabama as a running back, as a linebacker. They make you into whatever they feel your athletic ability allows you to be. Derrick Henry, I think, was the only one who really came in as a running. I think he was a running back slash linebacker, wherever he was in high school. They made him into a 100% uh, running back. So, yeah, Alabama just has a lot of talent, man. You just seen that yesterday. But coaching. Coaching matters. They got out coach yesterday. But losing their starting quarterback was big. That was big. I'm not even going to act like Tua didn't make a difference. Tua was the difference in that game. Like Tua would have probably ate that secondary up. 
But uh, as far as today, NFL, man, what I expect from the Ravens, I expect us to win this game. I'm nervous about the game, yes, because of San Francisco's defense, not because of their offense. I'm not scared of their offense. Their offense is, is suspect. Garoppolo is suspect. But um, I expect us to have a good show in this game. I expect us to um, I expect us to blitz him a lot. Blitz him a lot, shut down corners, cover your man. And then um, 44 for us, corner 44, he came up limp last week. I think he pulled a hamstring or something. So I'm going to be taking a look at that. And if he's okay, Jimmy Smith, uh, uh, Peterson, like, we're going to be good. We're going to lock down on her. We're going to lock down on wide receivers. And it's on. It's on, bro. It is on. Like, we're just going to blitz Garoppolo. We're going to have him running around like chicken with his head cut off. We're going to just go after him this game. And that's what I expect us to do. So, um, I'll have a reaction to the game after the game is over, win or lose. That's my team. You know what I mean? So, I'll have a reaction, win or lose. If we win, we win. We don't, we don't. I'll have a reaction to it. So, while I'm sitting here waiting on my time, get some time back so I can get the heck out of here. I hate Indiana, man. Indiana, Ohio, just cold for no damn reason. Just houses in the middle of nowhere. Like, people just living. Like, how do you raise kids like that? How do your kids have function? Just function with other kids living in the middle of nowhere like that. I guess it's all about getting away from people, I guess, bro. You can only run so far. But, uh, yeah, I'm in these small-ass bitty towns up here and I'm trying to make the most of it until my clock starts. So I decided to make a little video and put that out there in the air that I expect us to win today. I don't expect us to win big, but if we do, that'd be even better. But it's not, it's not necessary. But I expect us to win. I expect 49ers to put up a fight. More of a fight than the Chargers, than the, um, the damn Rams put up uh, last week. I expect a better fight than that. But uh, it's TV trucking them out, man. I'll highlight y'all after the game. It is only 10-27 right now. So you have a reaction. I'll probably be at the shipper while the game is going on. I got CBS on my phone hooked to my cable at home, so I'll be able to watch the game and drive. I don't know if that's a good idea, but you know, I get a little emotional sometimes, but uh, I'll probably just have ESPN highlights on and uh, TV trucking them out, bro.